Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to view or let's say how to see or how to go back in time and view all the aerial images of any particular location using Google Earth. So we are going to show you how to do that in a couple of minutes. You know, Google Earth, with Google Earth, you can actually travel to any part of the world and, you know, see how those places are. Now, when you travel to a particular location, we are going to show you how you can move back in time to see what has changed over time in that given location. So you can maybe search for your community, your state, your local government, your country using the search panel, or you just navigate to any particular location of your choice which is what we are going to do on this video. So we came to this um, random location. This looks like a layout, right? So we want to see how well this particular area, or maybe everything we can see on our screen has developed over time. You know, as we use that tool, or as we'll be using the tool, we will see how well the place has moved or maybe has changed. So we are going to use this particular tool. It says um, it shows um, historical imagery use the time slider to move between activation dates so you just click on it and then this is the time slider now on this time slider you can move back in time or you can come forward in time depending on where you're starting from right good so now this is actually the latest which is um 2021 right so now let's see what happens when we start going back in time you can see changes as you keep going back in time right now you can see you can actually see changes at this particular point so some places were underdeveloped as time goes on maybe the development start coming in you can even see how these places were before we got to how it is now maybe 2020 or maybe 2021 right you can see now maybe it's now getting um, vegetation or whatever the case is so this is how you can use this tool to go back in time to see what see all the real images of any location on google earth right now you can also come to this other icon they are still on that um, time slider so you come to this icon then you can use this to navigate easily as well let's say if this this should be the month right so if you move up a bit we are on december right so that's the end so you can just come down to different months and you'll be seeing the the, the changes on your screen but let's come to the year this is 2019 right so if we go up that's 2020 come down 2019 come down 2018 good we still come down 2017 so this is actually a faster way of trying to use this um, time slider so you can see how this place is or how this place was yeah you can see how the place was this particular location we are trying to use as our case study as at 2017 right 2017 so this is how you can use this particular tool on google Earth to monitor change in any area over time so you can just maybe select any location you see how well or let's say how massive the changes have been from this is 2014 right from 2014 now this place is still covered still covered and you can even see the quality of image is not even the challenge all we are talking about is how developed these areas have been or the let's say how nature was on the terrain or maybe on the location and then how man has developed that particular location over time so let's still come back again to that so let's see we are still on 2014 right let's come down to 2013 this is 2013 right so we can just keep coming down maybe keep coming down or keep going so you see how the location we are using as our case study you can see how it has changed over time now let's move to the top which is the latest so let's come back to where it was which is in 2020 right good so you now see the difference so this is how you can use this particular tool to what to view what the um all the real images of any location on what on google Earth. so Thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this um, particular solving problem. 
Um, the application is actually, would I say, it's, um, it's beyond this. You can even use it to maybe check maybe water body how it has maybe, um, would I say, if it's increasing or if it's reducing. Maybe if there was any reclamation or maybe if the water body was actually increasing. So it actually can be applied in as many areas as maybe you can want or maybe you would want to use it. So once again, thanks for coming to class. We are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing and um, have a nice time. Bye.